Good evening, everybody. This is Shadow Fury CC3 with another year, another Halloween, another edition of Let's Die Horribly. Once again, attempting to play SP Containment Breach because that kind of bugged out last year, but maybe, maybe this time it'll work. Maybe I'll manage to get through without any crash bugs, and also maybe I'll actually be able to make some progress, unlike last year, where I rather died a lot. Like, an embarrassing amount. I. I just did not die the entire time, so hopefully I'll be better this time at that. And yes, uh, this is not obviously like last year. I I know it was last year's a bit more of the direct joke of let's try to play a game that's supposedly that's scary, and then show that I'm not scared. Whereas now, obviously, it's pretty clear that horror games do nothing for me as far as that goes. But they are challenging, and I do quite like especially games like this, which are sort of survival horror roguelikes. But the whole or rogue lights, I guess I don't know, and that is why I'm playing it. So hope you enjoy that, and let's begin. So as usual, going into the Keter difficulty for the permadeath, and do I call myself? Call myself Claude. Doesn't really matter because that will likely not be my character that I'm using for the most part because I'm probably gonna die. So for those of you not familiar with this game, it is based off of the creepypasta wiki known as the SCP Foundation. That is right there. That's right on the screen, right now on the loading screen. And that is a big list, yeah, giant list of basically a bunch of pictures that people found that they took and put as, but they put creepy descriptions on them to make them sound more interesting than they are just as pictures. Ultimately, they are usually pretty interesting little pictures. Anyway, part of the mythos is that there's this big test center which all this stuff is held in and in order to help test it they have these class d personnel which are generally speaking people who are sentenced to death row or otherwise sentenced to die like they are their life here is basically death just follow me we're authorized to kill any disobedient test subjects so don't try anything stupid as the guards mentioned, I am likely to die by them, if not by the things that are in this facility. Security yeah. Team. Also to point out that Class Ds are terminated on a monthly basis for those of you not familiar with the mythos in any context. So basically, my character has at most a month to live. Barring manifesting special powers of their own, becoming an SCP as well, which isn't too much better, honestly. So yeah, the main point of the game is to not die, and to, well, we'll see. We are. Get in there and follow the instructions from the intercom, and you'll probably be fine. Attention all Class D personnel. Please enter the containment chamber. Please approach SC. One seven three for testing. Uh, there seems to be a problem with the door control system. The door isn't responding to any of our attempts to close it. So please maintain direct eye contact with SCP-173. Okay, so, now that the whole cutscene has gone through, let's go into a bit of detail. So basically, the goal of the game is to try to escape this facility because of the containment breach, which caused that thing, that statue, to escape. Which, that statue, SCP-173, kills anything that it gets near by snapping its neck, but will not move if any sentient being, or at least any human being, is staring at it. I think it's just any sentient being. Trust me, that distinction is very important. Anyway, that is something which I basically have to avoid. I cannot kill it, but I can avoid it. But I also need to make sure that I I am looking at it if I see it. Which makes it a little bit tricky because it means that I can't easily open doors. If I stop looking at it or I blink in the bottom left corner, you see the little eye bar there. Hit the space bar, I can manually blink to avoid problems. But yeah, if I lose eye contact, I'm dead. See that thing right there? That that's the thing. Yeah. Losing eye contact is a good way to die. 
Actually, let's go over inventory. I... Oh, bloody hell. Let's go over inventory out of range of the thing in question. Just get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. <sighs> okay, thing I'm far enough away. Alright, so I have my orientation leaflet, a couple batteries, a level 1 key card, which... Oh, bloody hell. That's a bad sign. Alright, level 1 key card, a gas mask, which will be useful in some time, and the document. Detailing the thing that's trying to kill us. So feel free to read that. I realize it's on stream, it's a little bit hard to pause. On YouTube, you can just pause the video. I'm not going to go over it in too much detail, because I already kind of have. <laughs> so yeah. The highlighted text is the most important part as far as the game mechanics are concerned. Won't move if something is looking at it. Many brave Class Ds died to figure that out, I'm sure. I should also point out this is actually not the latest version. So for anyone who's actually experienced with this game, this is not the latest version. This is point this is 0 0.9.3 because there's a bug in the absolute latest version. Although I what the heck? Although I do want to see the latest version because apparently it has a lot of improvements and I have played a bit of it, but there's a bug where the items I think fall through the floor. They don't show up. I'm pretty sure what it is that they are falling through the floor. And in fact, I should probably turn Okay, if I die or when when I die, I'm probably going to change the fog settings so that I can see. I mean, the effect is nice, but I don't think the compression is going to work nicely with this. Anyway. I need a keycard. Well, let's see. I have a keycard. I open the door! Hooray! What the heck was that beeping? And I get a better keycard. I'm not sure what that beeping is. I apologize. Oh, loud. Stop, stop beeping at me. Breaking the mood. Okay. Ow! Ah! Bastards. Okay, well, sorry. People were talking to me over... Really not the right time. I cannot alt-tab out of this, otherwise it will break. I apologize. Let's try this again, shall we? This time without sounds from other applications getting in my way. Alright, so let's just start again. I'm going to skip the intro sequence this time, though. You've, you've seen it. Not a big deal. Get out of that same character, because it was supposed to be this. Let's go. Alright, so I don't know if, what you guys want to see out of this. I mean, I didn't manage to show too much. I did manage to get through a key card, and that was about it. Although starting with the intro sequence is actually a bit safer. Because 173 kind of... Kind of leaves, but yeah, let's get the stuff. Same stuff as before. Now I should point out the levels are procedurally generated. There was, as you probably saw, a level seed at game start. Yeah, that's important. Yeah, the same stuff as before. I'm pretty sure 173 is down there. Let's double check. By the way, these I've changed the fog settings a bit because this is what the new version has. At the latest version, these are the fog and low oh, darn it. Lighting settings. Yeah, that's just perfect. Yeah, these are the fog things of the new version. And wait a sec, this is the way I came in. Anyway, yeah, so the fog and lighting things for the new version. So it should be a bit more visible. So anyway. We have blood! How pleasant. I'll just go roll around in that. Alright. Oh. The heck? Huh. Well, it doesn't look too hot. 
Really, probably seen better days. And eh, that's got nothing on him. Darn. Hoping we get a key card or something. You know, something to help me get around. Now, one thing I notice is I'm not closing all the doors because I do want to have an escape path. Rooms like this with the key card. Those are probably going to. All right. Those are probably going to be ones that will have some need to escape. Like, I'm going to probably see 173 somewhere around here, and then we need to run. Like hell. Okay, that's a containment as well, which is breach, but 173 is not in there, which is a good sign. That noise is a bad sign. But I don't see 173 around here anywhere, so we're probably okay. But yeah, I like to make... Because the thing is, you can't turn around to leave if 173 is around. Ah, I need a little two. If 173 is around, you cannot turn around and hit the button. You will die. It will run after you and kill you, and you will die. On account of being killed. Now this room is... Oh! Well... That. Okay, good to know. Monster in the floor. Make a note of it. That is actually the same thing that dropped the guy earlier through the ceiling. It's SCP-106. Pleasant fellow. Provided that you don't value your own life. And is there anything else around here? No, there's just a bunch of dead ends. So this whole area is basically wasting my time. Well, so it goes. Happens sometimes. Let's see. Is there anywhere I haven't spotted up yet? Wait, hang on a sec. I think I can get. Th can I get through this? No, I cannot. These are containment areas that I cannot open up. Top notch security, except for a cow. Ooh, what's this? Oh, wait a sec. What is this? This looks like a containment room, but I can't figure out for what. There should be a sign somewhere. Oh, here it is. SCP-372. I don't see a file on it. Oh, maybe I do. Oh, SCP-372. What are we dealing with? Cell is an alert. Flipping movements. Oh, okay, I know what this one is. You, yeah, see that little thing there, flicked it inside. That's SCP-372. So basically, it jumps around and basically tries to hide from people by avoiding where people can see. That's how it works. Apparently the radio is not doing anything for me right now. But yeah, that, that's, so that's going to pop up in our vision. I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually do anything harmful. It's just going to be mildly annoying whenever a blinking happens. And we're going to see the tiny little black thing off in the corner. It's a bit of an annoyance, but it's not that big of a deal. And that, however, is a fan going on. Ah, that's nothing. 173 has been kindly not showing up too much. At least not so far. I think I missed something. Hmm. I'm starting to wonder if it's a better strategy to keep the doors open. And there's the janitor that we saw going through the floor after we saw it dropping down. No, 106 does not time travel. That was just scripted events in the order. Probably not that was intended. Or two different janitors. And 106 is eating well tonight. Let's see, for moving on, we have another empty hallway! My favorite. Oh, what the heck? Oh, wait, I know this area. 
This is a pain in the butt. What the heck is that thing on the screen? I think it's another SCP on the screen. Okay, so this is where the gas mask is pretty much absolutely necessary. Now, I am... Okay, so I have to get through this real quick. Oh, crap. 173 is right there. See? Right. Flipping there. And there's 371 again. Okay. Hello, 371. Yeah, 173 likes to pop up in that particular area. Well, at least we got through that isolation bridge with the gas. Is 173 following me? I really want to explore that area, so if 173's gone back into the ducks, I will be a happy man. If not, I will be dead. Okay, it looks like 173's gone back into the ducks. What the heck is that? Okay, whatever. I don't really care all that much. Yeah, if you don't have the gas mask on, you start blinking rapidly, which is why 173 tends to hang out there, because if you blink rapidly, you're dead. Because 173 can move, and then it snaps your neck. 915! Alright, 914! Yes. I don't know if I have anything to actually put in here, but 914. Okay, I want it. Set it to fine. Okay, so I should probably describe this one. So this thing. Close the door too, just in case. Yeah, let's close the door in case 173 comes in while I'm explaining this and snaps me neck. So, this thing is a giant machine. You put stuff in here, you set this setting to whatever you want, and then magically something comes out here that fits the setting. Actually, the file's right here. Or is that, that's not the file. Ah. Yeah, it also messes up organic matter. Can't carry any more items. Well, I don't need a level one key card, so let's put that down. How do I put that down? Oh, I just, there we go. All right, grab that. First aid kit, I'm going to need that. All right, I think if I put stuff there's the note. That's the note on 173. I'm going to just drop... Drop the document on 173. Sorry, not 173. Nine. No, that's not it either. Dr. L's note. Bothering. I'm not alive anymore. Let's see. Body. Nope. That's not what I... Okay, so that's not a description of... One century itself. I should not walk in there. Walking in there will likely result in death. But let's try throwing an idle battery in there. Actually, let's try some of the rear transceiver in there. All right, press the button to make it work. So let's see what happens if I put a radio transceiver in this machine and set it to very, very fine. I don't know what it does. I oh, darn it! This is why I want to play the newest version. Sorry about that. This is why I wanted to play the newest version, because apparently there are memory issues, and I know there are a few ways to solve this. I didn't really expect that to blow up like that. I apologize. That means I have to go back. I really wanted to show up 914, because I actually haven't seen 914. 914 is... Man, that's like the coolest SCP in the entire archives. It's like a machine, you stick stuff in, and then really cool stuff pops out the other end. But no. And that that was unfortunate. I'm gonna try to see if maybe the different settings will work better this time. I'm not sure. Because like I can finally unlike last time, I'm finally able to show off the foundation and I've never actually even seen it myself. This is this is first for me too. But that unfortunately was a Little, oh, I didn't want the intro sequence. Shoot. Or is that default to skip the intro sequence? I don't think it's default to skip the intro sequence. I think I'm going to go through that again. If I do, I'll just get out of it. Yeah, I have to go through it. Ah, enable intro sequence. All right. So the loading screen here is going to describe what 914 does. 
It refines objects. And organic matter resorts, results in horrible, horrible things. You do not want to put organic matter in. Just follow that rule. Alright, so I really don't know why the memory access violation happened, but yeah, hopefully that won't happen again if we... If we encounter 914. So we have two batteries, but not... Shoot, I guess this time I only have one. Curse me, I probably should have put the battery in the radio transceiver to make it work in the first place. Alright, another gas mask. They have to run. Oh, bloody hell, you're already there. Yeah, like I said, 173 likes to hang out there. Really annoying that. Yeah, I honestly cannot say I'm a f Oh, come on now. Just kill me, why don't you? Beat me to it. Okay, let's try with a different character on a different, well, it's only a different name. And let's try not to die. But hey, we died horribly once again. We actually died horribly that time. And not just a cash. And, uh, I really wish the item bug didn't exist in the latest version. Seriously, this happens again. I... This happens again. I'm going to Doom the Road. Not Doom the Road. The Doom. Brutal Doom. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going from psychological horror to just slasher. Because this is... Maybe next year, guys. Maybe next year SCP Containment Breach will actually work perfectly. Alright, let's try it again. Huh, I wonder what this map scene does. Okay, I got past the loading time. Or loading point. Where it failed last time. Alright, now let's see what we have here. We have... Triangular room, and is this... What is this kind of room? Oh, I see, this is the room I need. This is the room with all the stuff that I need. Like, the gas mask. And everything else. Where is that? Battery, gas mask, note, I... Keycard, there we go, I was looking for that. The last time! Keep the doors closed. Seriously, no consideration. You leave the room, close the door. Oh. Never mind, this is a dead end. Oh yeah, I just realized I probably turned the lights off. It occurred to me. Okay, there we go. This actually makes it easier to see. I don't mean because it's spookier, I mean because it's actually considerably easier to see with the lights off. Although I suppose there's that too, because the whole thing is supposed to be genuinely scared because you're in the dark and no one have a webcam, so you're not going to be able to see that I'm actually in the dark. Okay, gas mask. Gas mask time, once again! Put on the gas mask! Try not to die! It's, wait, I should probably blink first. Okay, first off, I should get my energy back. Get my running stamina back. Then blink my eyes. And then go! I said go! And one seven... Darn it! Damn it, one seven three! I got lucky the first time, honestly. Farewell, Les Leslie, we hardly knew you. I should point out, it is the 31st, so it is right at the time of, well, okay, if it was real, it'd be around the time of the Class D executions. They're monthly executions. Hooray! The oh, I need to get in that room. Two batteries, that's nice. Gas mask note, 173's probably down there. Yep, 173's always down there. 
Seems like a general rule. 173 is always going to pop up in that particular room. Hopefully I don't need my gas mask. Oh good, I can move two rooms without needing a gas mask. That's a relief. Right, and is 173 in this room? Because 173 is often in this room. Actually, you know, I'm not blinking enough. A level 2 card. What's this? Ah, the Sight Nav. Okay, let's see. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Let's put a 9 volt battery in there. Not sure what that does though. Honestly, it just sort of, just sort of there. Oh, there's a the janitor again. I know I'm so blasé in the face of death and cruelty. And we have oh, okay. I don't think I have access to this. Nope. Need a key card with higher clearance. So yeah, in case you're wondering, this one right here, O one two. Yeah, Cognito a Hazard. Basically, it is a music piece where if you go up and get anywhere near it, it'll draw you to draw your own blood and use it to continue the piece. Until finally you realize it's completely unfinishable and promptly bleed to death. It It's as pleasant as it sounds. Looks like this is just a containment area. Yeah, there's no easy way through. Nothing really to see there. So yeah, I think for that you need pretty high clearance key card. And what is in here? Heavy containment zone. Somehow I doubt a level two key card is gonna do the trick. Nope. Okay, well, so much for that. If I can find a light wait, what? Light containment zone. Okay, I guess that's where I am already, is the light containment zone. Which, for some reason, houses SCP-012. But I guess it's Euclid class and not Keter class, so it's not the biggest deal. In case you're wondering, the categorizations are safe, Euclid, Keter, in that order. I'm not really sure what they tie to, but yeah. That's... Basically, safe means that they can be reliably contained. Euclid means that you have to be very cautious about containing them, but it's still feasible. And Keter means that... They require extra, absolutely extraordinary measures to keep safe, and even then are very likely to breach or otherwise cause havoc in the facility. Yeah. 106, I believe, is Keter class, but I'm not totally sure. Like, speaking of high class SCPs, I have to double check. I'm pretty sure 106 is Euclid class, but it's one of those things that. Sorry, Keter class, but it's one of those things that changes a lot, and there is. If we do find 106's chamber, which isn't going to be on this floor, but if we do end up finding it, then that will answer that question. Oh, yeah, if I blink. What the heck? Oh! Whoa! I think that was 106. I'm pretty sure I'm not dead. No, I am not. I appear to be in some kind of alternative world. I okay. Bunch of hallways, and I can't sprint. Well, let's just pick this one since I don't really see anything special at any particular hallway. Let's see where it leads me. Okay. Now I'm somewhere else. I don't know where I am. I'm not sure. Like, you saw that guy walking through, getting pulled through the floor? Yeah, that's what just happened to us. Well, that looks bad. I thought that over there looked bad, but this area down here looks worse. So yeah, we are now sort of kind of in the floor. Like, we're in 106's pocket dimension. And trying desperately not to die. Unfortunately, having never been here before, I don't really know what is what. 
But I'm guessing that falling down there is a bad idea, and probably that I gotta be careful about which hallways to take. But hey, we have found an absolutely new location! That's actually a first for me too, I haven't actually been captured by 106 before. <laughs> I haven't seen 106 walking around before. Oh, I see, it takes energy just to move. And it's all my sprinting power just to keep moving. Whoa. Anyone else getting a Sense Fortress vibe from this place? Oh, I guess it's not actually trying to swing to knock me off. It's floating around me. Play that. Whoa! Okay, so it's not going to hit me or anything. Uh, so tough to move. Hey, an arch! Let's get to Arch, I think, maybe. Wait. Where I came in. We slow movement. Slow movement. <sighs> How do I fall? Wee! <laughs> Nope, I died. <laughs> Suffered multiple heavy fractures to both of his legs. Yeah, that was not the best way I could have done about it. <laughs> well, let's try that again. Maybe we'll see that again. Maybe we'll go into the pocket dimension once again. I'm pretty sure there's candy in there. Or, well, stuff. You know, like, go in. I think there's actually some interesting... Oh, for crying out loud. Okay, once again, we begin. And so yeah, look, it will crash on the second load. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. Anyway, as I was saying, maybe we'll find it again because apparently there's stuff in there. I'm just going to go with candy. No, it's actually some notes or something. But I don't know where it is. I don't know where to go. All right, once again, starting out, get straight into the items room. No, it's not the items room. One step move from the items room, and that's... Grab things. The one area that is constant throughout the entire game, for every run. And it means you also be super careful because it means that 173 is right there. You know where 173 is to start with, and... Uh, Wait, 106, no, take me to your candy world! Oh, well, maybe we'll find him again. Anyway, let's see what other interesting things there are to find here. I mean, there's death. That That's actually remarkably less interesting than I'd been led to believe. In fact, it's downright boring. You die and that's kind of it. But oh well, I guess that's a thing. I'm kind of surprised. One of three normally pops. I often doesn't I get in this area. It's also one of the predefined areas, as you've probably figured by now. One of three always pops down the top. And it just sort of pops in and comes in behind me, and then I die. Must be the thing with the older. Maybe it's an older version thing. Like this is not like I said, not the latest version, but it's like pretty much the release candidate for the latest version. Well, actually, there is candidate for the 1.0 version. The latest version is 106. But items work, so that's why we're playing on this rather than on 106, which I'd much rather play on since it has some other cool stuff. Also, I gather it has some guarantees about what items... Not items, are, so what rooms are available. That is not necessarily true of 096. I'm oh, sorry, 093. Sorry, 096 is actually one of the SCPs, which is in the game. I haven't encountered them though. I think they're I think they come up later. You get further into the facility. In the containment area. No use. And Well, I haven't actually popped up yet another containment area. We already saw 106 grab the janitor. 
It left us alone. Oh, there's the janitor. Oh, the janitor has no candy. They didn't find the candy. Oh, and there's 914 again. Okay, let's try this. Let's try this again, although I don't have the radio this time. I would put the body in there, but apparently organics are a bad idea to put in there. See, there's that note. Wait, there's... There's a first aid kit. Maybe we can try putting the first aid kit in there. Maybe we get a super fancy magic first aid kit. Or we get another crash. One of the two. And... Magic first aid kit? No, it hasn't done anything yet. Ah, there we go. You turn the key. I have never used this before. It's remarkably simple, though. And the facility was probably built around it, if I had to guess. So what do I get? I get a strange bottle! Oh, great, my wound's healed, which is of little use since I wasn't wounded to begin with. But okay, now we know what a strange bottle does, in case we ever find one again. Let's put more stuff in. Let's put level 1 keycard in. See what happens if I put a level 1 keycard in at very fine. Isn't this fun? We get to see all the stuff that 914 makes for us out of all the stuff that I have. Maybe we can try putting notes in. Or a bunch of notes in. That would be something. And I get a MasterCard! Which I guess might be useful later on. I wonder whose name is on there. Now, it's... I mean, what really matters is what is the expiry date on there? <laughs> Like, and does... Oh, there we go. Okay, now I need to pull this out. I need to pull this out. And this out. And I'll put it on the fine setting. What happens to three documents put together on the fine setting? I could be a researcher if they weren't going to kill me in a day. And we get a couple paper cranes and a document. Yay! Okay, well, that's enough 914 for now. Let's continue exploring. <laughs> yeah, the Master Guard. You gotta double check. It's like, does it tie to any AVS systems? Like, can I actually use it? I mean, obviously, that requires getting out as contingent on surviving, which, as we've seen thus far, is not likely. But, oh, I dropped it. Seriously, I fumbled the keycard. Nope, need higher security clearance. Okay. But yeah, if that works... Oh, at least I can use the janitor as a land... Like, the dead janitor is my landmark. So have I been in this room before? Oh, there's a dead janitor. Yep, I've been here. Let's go. Let's turn around, find another path. That's like a turnpike. It's a dead janitor turnpike. Actually, I don't know what a turnpike is, to be honest. But it is a dead janitor. I almost wish I could just carry it with me to mark out new rooms like breadcrumbs or like rip off the limbs and just pop them behind me. Or just have a trail of blood. And I just follow the, if I, I'm getting back to the trail of blood, I know I've been there before. But I think they probably run out of blood by like a few minutes in. I don't think that would work. I suppose my dialogues probably explain a great deal as to why this game has no effect on me in terms of horror. And rather why I laugh at it. Oh, hey, we're back to this thing. Eh, oh, whatever. There's a radio transceiver here. Dealing with... Let's put the battery in the transceiver. Nope. I... Nope, there's nothing. Okay. I must want to put that transceiver in 914, but that crashed the game last time, so I'm not so keen. But hey, I have paper grains. I have origami. Uh, 
You know, I kind of wonder what happens if you put in a battery too. So Electro pointing out in one of the chats. I'm not showing the chat, by the way, because I don't think it really fits. Oh, it's 372. The the SCP in the glass room that is going to be following me around whenever I blink, that was 372. This one right here. Did that come from this area? Darn it, where's the dead janitor? I've lost my bearings. Here, dead janitor. There's the dead janitor. Okay, good. 914 was just through the room. I, mean, I haven't really seen... Okay, so let's see what happens if we throw in a battery on... I want to throw on fine, since very fine is a strange tendency to make... It seems like it makes really esoteric things. Whereas fine seems like it just makes things better. But then again, 914 is pretty unpredictable to begin with. And we get... Whoa! I... 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 That's a bad sign. Yep! Aha! Uh -huh. Okay! Good to know! So that's what happens when you put a battery on a fine, is that it becomes charged everywhere! Well done, Electro. You caused me to die horribly. For that, you're next! All right, new character. Hopefully the game doesn't crash on load. Game's not crashing on load. Okay. Electro's waving their hands from me using their name as this character save, except for the fact that this character's gonna likely die horribly. And, oh, three batteries, nice. Okay, maybe next time I'll try and very fine and that might not result in my death. But good to know, fine is tantamount to suicide on... Wait, something's wrong. Oh, good. Okay, it's just a janitor. Alright, so that... That's where the janitor... Oh, that's, that's kind of useless. Darn it, 106. Why'd you have to drop the janitor there and... Wow, okay. Talk about messed up timing. Seriously, 106 doesn't do time travel. That's a scripted thing. Righty. Moving on. Oh, yeah. The key card should get that. What the? Wait. Oh darn it, I forgot the key card. Hopefully 173 is in my way. Let's just blink. Back, there's the dead janitor, which is right next to the starting room. No, that's the, there we go. Here, and 173 is not obviously right here. There's the key card. Wait. Oh, hey, 106. I'll come back to you later. I don't really feel like candy right now. I have stuff to do. By the way, 106 can walk through walls. Can't, can't travel through time, can walk through walls. As was likely obvious. Sorry, not 173. 106. 173 cannot walk through walls. It uses the duck system. Now, where was I? Nope. Oh, pfft. Dropped on the ground. Once again, Butterfingers. Alright, 173, are you going to be here to kill me? Yes! Yes, you are! Hello, 173. Great. Well, I hopefully won't need... I don't need level 2 for accessing 914, I don't think. Oh. Let's get the transceiver now in 372's room. 372 and transceiver. Yeah, this is... This is like most roguelikes. Mostly procedurally generated. Or roguelike-ish. Mostly procedurally generated, but not totally. There are set rooms... And they are necessary to progress. But hey, unlike last time I did this, I'm actually making progress. Admittedly, I die at some point, which, like last time, was mostly because of doing silly things. But progress is being made. Okay, so 173 might have left the room by now. Are you gone now? 173. Nope! Ow! Darn it, I did not think through my blinking. Oh! That is how you tie, Mac.
Okay, well, oh yeah, by the way, in case you're wondering, there's actually two chats going on. So people are chatting in Hitbox chat, and then also people are chatting in the Ikran IRC channel. So that's why it's not syncing. But yeah, that that's just, that's what it is. And yeah, Electra's pointing out, No, I died, not again! Yes, again, you brought this on yourself. Okay, I think we're gonna just do one more. I'm not sure what time is it anyway. I've already done like five death runs. Okay, it's crash time. Okay, let's try it. Okay, let's start it up and try it again. I know I said it switch really didn't crash again, but it's actually been relatively stable. Nine to fourteen worked okay. I mean, yeah. Yeah, one more time. Once more with feeling. Now I'm 14, he's swapping with the loading screen, because I keep looking for... Well, I mean, it's a good good thing to have. Right. Press the any key, get into the game, and... This is... Yeah, there we go. Red door is always the one... No, never mind. Not this case. Where's the... Oh, there it is. It's as long as I've had to go to get the standard equipment, starting equipment. Three batteries, nice. Okay, so three... Three batteries, one key card, one, some threes over there. And let's see what's going on around back. In this particular iteration of... There we go! Hey, oh, never mind, it's a 372 once again. And now 372's got me. Well, let's just put the battery in the transceiver. What anything else is in this room? Alright, so I don't know if I need the level 2 keycard in order to get further, but yeah. Hopefully, unlike last time, I will manage to do that without dying. Is one seven three still here? No, no they aren't. Okay. Ah, uh, they're probably here, though. I just want to avoid this room entirely until I... What the heck? Ow! Oh, shit! Well, that was... short. I really shouldn't have gone that way. How can I stop hiding? I'm dead! I can't act at all! Okay, well... Anyway... What do you get on the SP Container Beach and 9.14 on Very Fine? You get the latest version without the item bugs! Unfortunately, I can't actually do that! So anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. I... Don't... I, I'm glad it worked a lot better than the last time. I didn't have to switch over to Slender or anything, because that game was not very good. <sighs> better than the last year. Still not ideal. But hope it was fun to watch, and... I don't think I'm gonna do anything else tonight, so... Special Halloween thing is basically over. Thank you for watching, and have a good night, everyone.